Hello YouTubers, welcome back to the workshop. The project I'm going to do for you this week is a wavy edged bowl. Um, I've been toying with doing something like this for quite a while and I've played all through YouTube and I can't find anybody doing a wooden wavy edged bowl. Obviously I wasn't going to plagiarise their ideas, I was just looking for a little bit of inspiration. So, God forbid I had to sit down and think for myself how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I've got this piece of wood. Um, it's just, I've, as you can see, I've rough turned it already. Um, it was just something I was playing with, with colours and I do like to have a little play with colours and textures and stuff like that. I think quite often uh, when I belong to a wood turning club and some of them are absolutely horrified that I should apply colour to a lovely piece of wood. But I do think at times it does enhance the wood. Um, you know, it, it can look quite nice. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do, because as I say, the object of today's exercise is to do the wavy edge bowl. Um, you don't want to watch me turn another bowl. There's thousands of those all over YouTube, people turning bowls. So what I'm going to do is use this that I used as uh, an old blank. Um, I need to change the shape of it slightly because what I want is a, um, a thicker, that's where that flare is up there. I actually want that to come in there with a more pronounced rim on there that we can then cut the wavy edge into or scalloped, is it scalloped edge? It might be scalloped edge more. Well, anyway, I'm not sure whether that's actually going to work, but we'll give it a go. Like I said in my last video, if it doesn't work out, I'm only going to delete it anyway. So. And then I'll get another bit of wood and we'll try again. So, I'll get, let's give that one a go. Okay, that's good. That's pretty, the, the, uh, pretty much the shape I want. Just shape the bowl, but it's more of that rim there. So you see, I've got from that sort of from there to there to play with. Um, so what I need to do now, this lathe I have has in what they call indexing plate on the back, and I can lock that in, and it locks into place. And there's 24 segments on there. So that is what I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is just mark a line on there and one on there. Turn the segment and again. Oh, and again. And I'll just carry on working my way around the bottom. see there's my 24 segments right there. I now need to do that on the other side. So I'll just spin that around. Thing I just need to do is mark uh, the center of there. So here's the bowl. You can just make out on the left hand side the lines. They don't show up very well under this light. You can see the lines, there's 24 lines right the way around the bowl. And there is also a line in there that I've marked where my finger is now. And that will be the inside of my bowl. What I want to do now is draw a line from one of those segments 
where it dissects the rim of the bowl to the bottom of it, the one adjacent to it and then the other side so in effect you have drawn a triangle and then what we do is we work our way around the bowl just marking these triangles these triangles what are going to form the basis for our scallops that will be carbonate so once you work your way right the way around the bowl marking those triangles you then need to flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side one thing you have to be careful for this is very difficult to explain but the triangle that you have on the back needs to be offset by half a triangle from the one on top because obviously when you start carving your scallops the low point of the scallop on the back will be the high point of the scallop on the front which will give you your wavy edge so once again we just work our way around you can see I'm doing this one freehand it's just a lot easier you struggle to get in there with a the rule of any sense and as I say they are just rough guides so we just work our way around the bowl until we have all our triangles again so now we get to grinding the scallops away I have a swan neck grinder fitted with a sabre burr um, it's a very coarse one this one so it does rip all the way very very quickly and as you can see from the video what I'm doing I just start along the line in the centre of the triangle and I just gradually work my way out to the two lines at the side so I'm just gradually taking the wood out of that triangle and what I'm trying to do is have a nice curved shape and what I'm aiming to do is get the depth of that triangle down to the pencil line we put in the middle of that rim so it's just gradually work it all the way and then just go for a nice shape it is quite um, arbitrary where those lines are because once it's all sanded it just all blends into itself and you just end up with the impression of the wave I suppose more than anything else but as I say when it's all sanded right down you do it just blends it all in with itself so any imperfections that will hide it doesn't have to be that perfect so as you see just take it away and gradually work your way around the bowl you can see from this one the curved shape I have where it just works its way to both lines and how, how I've just taken the inside of that curve down to the line that's in the middle of the thickness of the rim So what I'm going to do now is just work my way around the bowl, just grinding the scallops away. This is quite a long job, so I'll get back to you once I've finished it. As you can see from the shot, I've worked my way right the way around the bowl. And you can see the scallops, not that clearly, but you can see them. So I just worked all the way around, clean them all down. And with that dye, you can they actually show up a lot better. But you can also see from that shot that um, you know they're not all perfectly equal. And there you can see quite clearly that scalloped edge. So I'm doing a sand this uh, sand bowl down there. 
and I'll hand sand this just to get all the last scratches out. Um, when you come across that piece there, because it's with the grain, it's quite easy to sand all across there. But when you get in there and you've got to go with the grain, you've only got that tiny little piece on there. You just back and forth. That's quite difficult to do. But as I say, when you're doing with the grain, you can do it quite easy there. So um, I'm just going to sand it all down, sand and sealer and wax, and then that'll be finished on the back. Well, I've gone and I've sanded that down. I've sanded this piece on the machine. All of this I went and sanded it all by hand. I'll just put some sand and sealer on here now. So that sand and sealer really brings that green out. Uh, I'll do, I'll get my wax that, I'll put some wax on there and then I'll buff that up with uh, my buffer wheel on that. I'll just put some wax and polish that up. Right, I sounded my line off. I knew my rim was in the cup or the bowl. So that. So I know. Looks to be. That's where the wood is, so I want the thickness of the bowl to be about there. So what I'll do is I'll take a test cut in there and I'll just fill my fingers in there and see how close I am to the edge. See, I've sanded it all down, I've waxed it, um, sand and sealer and wax on there, um, and I just need to do the scamps around the edge. And to do that, I'm just going to put my Jacob's chuck in my four chuck.
my, with my buffer mount. So there you have uh, my four tool truck, my Jacobs truck, and my buffer wheel. And then what I can do is just work my way around and just polish up in those inside of those scallops. Turn the speed up a bit. I'm up to 2000 revs there. So I've already applied um, some wax to there by hand with, um, I put sand and sealer on there after I sanded it obviously. And you see a uh, really nice shine on that. You can even, it even shows up the scallops on there. On there. Right, just do that side Look at that. So that Hampshire sheen is some really good stuff. You get a beautiful shine on that. So, there we go, YouTube world. All done, all completed. Just look at that gorgeous shine on there. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Have a closer look, shall we? Look at that. Can you even see that reflecting off those scallops? And that comes around into the light. Those look beautiful. And on the back. on the back. Oh, that's lovely. You just see the scallops on there. So that's it. So After I made that one, I had a quick experiment I made another one so I've got a few bulb blanks over there and this one I've cut thicker rim on there so it's a lot more pronounced I don't think you could get much thicker than that to be honest because I think you'd because you've still got that thickness in there although you get more pronounced scallops on there that would be that much thicker and I think that would look a bit odd. So there we go. That's going to be shining off that Hampshire shade. That really does. Well, that would cost us not just the wax. It's my ability as a wood turner, obviously. Um, so that's pretty much it for today, another project. Um, I will ask you to subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, don't cost you anything. Um, every time I release a video, um, it'll pop up a notification for you. 
So that's pretty much it for today. And thank you very much for watching. I've been Steve Howe, and any day I get to spend in my workshop is a great day for me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.